This camera's gonna really piss me off. What, literally, what is going on? Why is it like that? I look better under you. I can't yeah, I The allergies are already getting me growing. It's because I spent all day basically outside yesterday. Pressure in the head, no stuffed. Feels like pollen is in my brain. I got a personal trainer yesterday. So I'm gonna take y'all to my session. This is my first session with a personal trainer today. Why am I literally so scared? Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film the whole thing. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna tell my personal trainer that I wanna like document this whole process because I really do. I really wanna like see me now and then see me later. Like I wanna document the entire thing for content, but for my own purposes. I'm mainly doing it because I just, I like had an epiphany and I was like, I used to be so strong. I used to be like a unit. Like I was really strong. Now I still am, but it was different. Y'all know. I majored in dance in college. I was dancing every freaking day. So I just was like strong. Like I just feel like I could use my body in certain ways, but I, I feel the limits and that really bugs me. My physical strength has dwindled just a little bit. I'm really excited. I did a six month contract that I'm gonna go twice a week, every week. But anyway, let me get up and get a new form. Look at coffee. So people make a lot of comments on like that. He's really big. I never take offense to it. That I, I That's not where I'm going with this. But I want to give a little bit of explanation. He has Cushing's disease. Now he wasn't officially tested for it because the, what the vet basically told us is that like once they test for five million things and that the dog has every single symptom for Cushing's disease, she's like, we could bring him in for a test, but it would only just be for like official confirmation. She's like, I am 100% sure that that is what this dog has. And when you look up his symptoms, he has all of it. Like they start to get a pot bellied appearance. It's really hard for them to keep weight off. Their back starts to slope. They eat and drink like insane. They start to lose their fur. All of that's happening to coffee. So that's why he looks so big because he has cooked that. Well, that's why he is so big because he has cushion disease. Girl, we're dressed and ready. Notice how fresh I look now versus how dusty I look when I first got on the camera. Oh, I'm vlogging today. I want them to see your outfit. Okay, you look so cute. <laughs> oh, look at Nosy. He just gotta come because you're standing up. Super cute, mom. <laughs> Why are you singing that? <laughs> the shoes are Converse. Look at coffee. Oh my gosh. Oh, you look so peaceful, Bob. I love you. <clears throat> oh, this pollen is getting me. Y'all, I'm here at my gym. Why am I like scared? Uh, oh, I'm just like nervous because it's a new thing. See, somebody already looked at me weird with my camera and I understand it because it's like, and my camera is on a tripod right now, which makes it even weirder. <sighs> Tell me why I got so embarrassed when she walked in, but y'all, she was actually so nice. Also, these squats look so funny. Sped up, but y'all, this was the warm up. Why was I tired just from the warm up? And then she had me doing squats and throwing this medicine ball, girl. I'm like, I wasn't ready for all this today, but I was, but I wasn't. <laughs> And then those ropes are really getting me good, y'all. Like, I see people do these in the movies and on TV shows and it looks so cool. It's not cool, it's actually really painful and it hurts. Like, I was tired five seconds in and watch you see this next part, the way my head drops because I had to tap in. I'm like, girl, if you don't dial in, you're not gonna make it. Like, literally struggling, struggling for breath and then it drops again and I look crazy. I couldn't even talk, all I could do was point. And then she's showing me what we're doing next and I see it's a plank. I have never been able to do a freaking plank. See how I did two arm swipes and she said that's one. I'm like, girl, that's one. I, I struggle with doing just the one arm swipe. I'm lifting my butt out the plank, y'all. Like I, you just never realize how out of shape you are until you start doing stuff like this. Five, four, Woo. Take 20 seconds and we're going to the floor for the rushes. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I suffered. That is one of the hardest workouts I've ever had in my life. Heart rate up the whole time. And see, that's why I need something like that because I would never do that by myself. If I go to the gym by myself, I'm gonna start and then once I get too tired, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna finish no set of 10 of something that's hard unless somebody's making me do it. That's just kind of, that's that's how I am. Like as disciplined as I can be about certain stuff, when it comes to working out, like girl, I will just give up. I am tired. 
I am tired. I can hardly breathe. Okay, so I'm about to get in the shower, but I just wanna show y'all the travesty that is my room. Because my room, I never, well, it has been bad like this before. Some of y'all are not gonna think it's bad at all, but for me, this is bad. But this is just because I've been out of town, and like when I'm out of town, I just sit stuff anywhere. We have my suitcase, which is still packed. And then my desk area, which isn't bad, but girl, that Chick-fil-A cup has been there since, when did I post my last Drag Race video? Think about when I posted my Drag Race video where I ate Chick-fil-A. That's how long that cup has been there. This cup right there that needs to be washed. Random cup from Circle K. Sheets and comforter haven't been put on the bed. In my defense, I washed my sheets and comforter right before I went out of town. I went out of town last Monday and I like literally just got back Saturday. So that's been like that. Basket of clothes, which y'all honestly that might have been there for a month this might have been there for over a month i also need to unpack my backpack my bike cover seat is on the floor a wireless microphone because i was gonna do some asmr empty water bottle empty water bottle oh my allergy medication this book does not need to be left here this is like a bag of stuff i had to put together empty protein bar box and these aren't empty but um they need to go somewhere else like full trash can personally i cannot live like this like it's not horrible but I just, I, I want to be in a clean space. But right now I need to get in the shack. I need to get in the shack. Before I clean the room, I really need to make something to eat because I'm hungry. Also, I'm the kind of person, I need a snack while I make food. You need a little snack on the side. Mm. I'm so excited for this though because I made this salad last night because we have, for dinner I ordered everybody, I'll try this family meal, and it came with these fried chicken fillets, and I chopped it up and put it on the Caesar salad. Please, it was so good. Oh, it smells good, like it's good. But I'm like ready for that. Oh, come on. I'm missing body ketchup, slotted gang sauce. Let me tell you what I need though, a salad spinner, because when I, when I washed my lettuce last night, it took me forever to get it dry, like, oh. Because when the leaves of the lettuce are still a little bit wet, like when they're in your salad, it be changing the, like it dilutes the flavor. And I, I, don't, I don't like that. But girl, nevertheless, here we are drying the leaves. I'm not trying to have no watery salad. Even though, and see like, this is taking forever in a day. Like. That training session, like you really realize almost how much of a workout you're not getting other times and there are some people who are like oh like any workout even if you didn't sweat like it's a workout i'm not like that i feel like if i'm not really sweating then like did it even happen i don't know but the way i was gasping for air and i didn't film this part but she took us to the machines and like the pull-up machine i haven't been able to successfully do a pull-up i think since the third grade that's one thing about me i never could do maybe i should cut it differently maybe i should cut it in strips like this first or am i making it more difficult i don't know please don't come for my cutting skills okay i i'm not trying to I'm not trying to be like an expert cutter. I just want to get the job done. But yeah, I've always had strong legs, weak arms, like always. I'm on that pull-up machine, girl, struggling. And when she like demonstrated for me, she did it so easy. But here's the thing. It's like, not only do I have weak arms, I have a really heavy body. Like I'm very dense. Even when I was younger and I was like really, 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 really skinny when I was younger, my sister would be like, I don't know why you're so hard to lift. Like I can lift mom before I can lift you. Like I've just always been dense. So trying to lift up my dense body with my arms, girl, it's not working. Yeah. Which chicken should I use? I feel like this one because this has a weird ending and I just, I don't have time for a weird bite of chicken. I'm really not feeling like cleaning my room because I have so many baskets of clothes to fold. I showed y'all that one basket. I forgot that I washed clothes last night. So I actually have, oh, I thought it was a tough spot in the middle of that chicken. I'm about to say, girl, we ain't have a chicken today. I forgot that I washed clothes last night, so I have another basket of clothes. And here's like my issue right now. Like, how do I have so many clothes but no clothes at all? Like, do y'all know what I mean? I have all these clothes in my closet. Closet full, drawers full, dirty clothes hamper full. Two baskets of clothes, two full baskets of clothes. What is that? But then I swear when it's time for me to go, I don't have nothing to wear. And that's not even in a like, oh, I have nothing to wear kind of vibe. No, like I really have nothing to wear. I think the problem is a lot of my clothes are lounge clothes. A lot of my clothes are like sweatshirts, sweatpants, which I feel like that's part of why my closet is so full because it's filled with like fixed stuff. Like when you open my closet, it's a lot of like jackets, sweatsuit. Like that's why it's no room. Same thing for my drawers. I feel like a bunch of pajamas. <laughs> Look at the deliciousness of it all though. I'm about to chow down. Mm. 
Look at this. I don't feel like having pepperoncinis, but it could do from some pepperoncini juice. Oh yes. I feel like it'll give it that bite that I like. Why is there not like a pepperoncini vinaigrette? Let's start there. The way I would eat that up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That just elevated it by a thousand. But hold up though. Is there a pepperoncini vinaigrette? Because that is, like this just took it to the next, like, oh. Mm, 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 mm. It's time to tackle the room. Coffee's not gonna like this because I'm about to have to make him move. Come on, Coffee. <laughs> Look at his face. Come on. Oh, I hate to make you move. Y'all see how he walks? He got an old man walk. But also his poor belly. Like he, it's it's big because of Cushing's. It's making it hard for him. Oh, love you. See, it's a lot of work being a dog. TikTok to edit. A lot of y'all want me to do like a full tutorial, which I still might do, but it, it's gonna be, I just have to figure out how I'm gonna edit that because it's gonna be long, but I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of what I do. So, open cap cut. <clears throat> this is how I do like my day in the life slash what I eat today is the videos where I do voiceover. I just put the clips in cap cut in the order that I want them in, which is just usually in chronological order. Really exciting stuff. This has to go up tonight. I'm low key running behind. And then immediately I put everything on mute. Look around and on mute. Turn the whole thing down and then I don't know if you can see but this button right here says loudness adjustment that makes everything whatever volume you set that first clip at and then I just make a million tiny cuts like people were like oh my gosh how are you like the day in life those are the easiest ones I make a million different small tiny cuts and honestly I feel like most of the editing is instinct and it's based on how you want something to look so I can show you like the technique of it all like the functions that I use but a lot of what I do is just based off of like I get a random feeling like oh that would be funnier oh this would be cool like that kind of thing and I always airdrop everything from my phone onto my iPad because it's just way easier to edit on my iPad with this pen I'm unstoppable but yeah the first half is just me literally cutting everything into small tiny clips I just figure out which part of the clips are the most eye-catching or important to me, like which ones look the best. And I keep those little small, tiny parts. And then continuity is important. Also, the way you shoot something is really important. Depending on what footage you have at the end, that can kind of make or break the video. It's a good balance of the shots that you get plus the way that you edit, which is what I feel like makes a good video, and like your instincts while editing. I feel like none of this makes any sense. Also, it's a lot of me like watching the same five seconds over and over again just to see how they flow, to see if I actually really like it. Sometimes it's me rewatching one second just to see if I like it. That's why it be taking hours sometimes. Okay, see, and this is what I mean by the shot, right? So this shot that I got, look at the color palette on that. That is beautiful. When you're scrolling on TikTok and you see that color palette, you might wanna stop and watch it. And those are often things that I think of ahead of time, like when I'm capturing something, what the shot looks like so that I have really good material while I'm editing. And I feel like some people might feel like, oh, it's not that deep. For me, it is that deep. Like I feel like it's storytelling, like it all matters. Another thing, just so you can see like how tiny the clips are, I mean tiny, I try not to have any clips that are over two seconds. If I have a clip that's over two seconds, it's because everything that's in that clip is really important. I feel like sometimes people include things in their videos that like are not necessary. Prime example, I just saw a TikTok the other day of this girl talking about um, weird things she does as a result of having long hair. The intro of that video was so long. The intro of the video was her pointing to the title saying things I do because I have long hair. And it was like her just standing, pointing and posing and whatever. And sure enough, somebody was in the comments like, did the intro have to be this long? Just give the people what they want. And not in a let people dictate your content kind of way, 
but in a just show us your content kind of way. I'm about to go to dinner with a friend that I have not seen in a long time. One of my friends from college, literally have not seen her in forever. Why is it hurting my jaw to put this moisturizer on my face? Also, I don't know if y'all see the black lines on the camera, but it's pissing me off because why is it doing that? What is that? Also, I'm gonna try this Naturium sunscreen. I've been liking Naturium lately and I'm like, oh, came out kind of watery. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the smell of that. Ooh, but I actually haven't had an SPF in a minute, which is not good. Like you're supposed to be wearing it all the time. But um, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog this actually because I haven't seen her in forever. So I just don't see me like having a camera all up in her face. Like that's very weird. Um, So we'll see, who knows? We're just gonna do like a light, simple makeup. I'm so glad I feel like I have mastered my you know, makeup makeup look. It's the simplest, fastest thing. I'm telling you, ever since getting into makeup, this camera's gonna really piss me off. What, literally, what is going on? Why is it like that? And this is just literally a little three-step routine. I do brow gel, concealer, mascara. The easiest freaking thing ever. Is this a pimple? I don't even need to be messing with pimples right now. Ouch. But I just feel like it makes me look like I'm alive. <laughs> also, see, I already have a mark right there for messing with pimples, and this is how you know I need to freaking stop, but will I ever? Well, no. Also, what do y'all know about microblading? I've been really interested in that recently, but I'm scared kind of. It looks painful. The way it was described, it's like, it's a thousand tiny little scrapes. Scrapes? Wait, let me put on the concealer before I put on mascara. Mascara should be last. This black opal concealer, I swear by this. I found out about this through a brand deal and I'm not joking, I have used it every single day since pretty much. Well, every day that I've left the house. Another pimple? Okay, I can't deal with it right now. But literally, I just cover up my little dark spots and it's perfect. Also, the shade match goes crazy. I do my forehead and then I got dark circles. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, it's because I don't get sleep, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf because I actually have been getting more sleep lately. Now, it's only been like two days since I've been getting more sleep, but I feel like that counts. I need a little bit more because this little dark mark is a little bit stubborn and it's because the pimple that was right there and it was like for literally no benefit at all because I squeezed it for so long nothing ever came out I put this part of my head through so much trauma and I'm left the mark and I deserve it I sat here and squeezed it for so long just damaging my skin like Okay, let me not do too much though. I feel like this is good enough. Like, I'm not trying to give full face. I'm just trying to give natural. And honestly, as long as my dark circles go away, that's all I care about. Because look at that, dark circles gone. Like, the dark circles is what be having me looking dead. Also, I'm gonna Uber to the place because it's in Atlanta. And I just, sometimes, I don't have it in me to drive in Atlanta. Like, it's too much. Everybody here drives like they have nothing to lose. I, and I can't be like that all the time. Like, I can't be on alert. I start to become like them. I start to drive crazy like them. I don't wanna be like that, and I can't be like that today. So, girl, we're just gonna have to Uber it out. I wish y'all could see my face that these stupid black bars weren't here. I don't know what's going on with the camera. <sighs> okay, mascara. I need a new mascara because this one's actually kind of drying out. I'm about to wear this denim shirt. I might only just keep one button. No, I'm doing more than one. This is a shirt I wore on my birthday that I got for my birthday. I love this shirt so freaking much. I got it from Aritzia. I'm not gonna lie, it costs more than I feel like it should have. Like I could have got this shirt somewhere else for cheaper. But um, but I do love this shirt. I can't lie. Do I need to button this button? I don't wanna. Oh no, why do I feel like having this button button is choking me? Yeah, no. Oh no, no. Okay, let's take this do-rag off. Hair looking kind of crispy, even though I wish it was a fresh bleach. Still looking good, okay. We're gonna wear this chain. This is my favorite chain. I feel like I've been wearing this at every turn lately. Like, honestly, I feel like if you see me, you see this chain. Like, <laughs> it's just so cute. I got this from Akira. I love it. Like, I just love a big old thick chain. And like, do you see why? Do you see why? Because it eats. I feel like I look so like fresh, but simple. I want a simple silver earring, a very slight, very tiny, dainty little chain. Okay, and I have this Naturium lip gloss. I used this in a TikTok video, not, not the other day, but a while back. And somebody was like, where'd you get that from? Naturium, okay? I bought the cafe collection. I was influenced. I saw an ad on TikTok and I said, place order. But it's so good though. I wear this brown gloss all the time. Look how it has like a tiny brown tint. I love that. It's very, the thing is, it's very slight. But I also, I have brown lips. I feel like on lighter lips, it'd be even more visible. But even with the slightness of it all. And what I like about it, it's not sticky. Mm. And look at the lips, like. You see the material. And then of course, my baby powder oil. I get so many questions about this oil. Shari, where do you get it from? 
girl, a random beauty supply store. Like I can't even give you specifics. I've been to multiple black beauty supply stores and found the baby powder oil. You just gotta go into a black one. Don't go into Sally Beauty. I ain't seen no Sally Beauty carrying nobody oils. But they have like, these black beauty supply stores have racks and racks of just oils. Okay, here's the full outfit, the shirt and chain as y'all know. And then, oh, not the unfolded baskets. Anyway, then some jeans and then these shoes. Oh, and then coffee. I did order some appetizers. I got, um, <laughs> I did guac and queso and the goat cheese fritters, but we can do, when he gets back, I'll tell him street corn and calamari. Okay. Wait, do you want to be in my vlog? Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh my God, you're so cute. I'm just mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we got the calamari sauce on the side. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like anything else before, I was like, fine. Adagio was. Adagio was never good for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who could ever do Adagio? I didn't put some. Yeah. I'm going to go to the next. I went to the last show. Mm -hmm. I've been keeping up with her stuff because I genuinely believe it's going to be good and get bigger and bigger. You remember that day where she was like this? She was going, huh? Under you, I can't let you go.